Parts very often arrive at the plated shop in all manner of conditions, from the not too bad to the do you think you'll be able to do anything with this. Parts can be made from steel, brass or aluminium and in most cases the first operation will be to strip the parts and get it back to the base metal. In the case of steel there is more often than not a degree of rust which has to be removed and it is this rust that very often leaves the base material in a condition which if plated would only highlight the poor surface quality even more. Polishing shops are often quite dirty, noisy and dusty places involving a lot of heavy duty and powerful polishing lathes. These polishing lathes are adaptable for using linishing bands to remove the surface imperfections and cut back the material, followed by fast metal cutting polishing mops and softer mops to obtain a high degree of surface finish. The mops are used together with grease cutting materials known as compo to aid the cutting and finishing of the metal. Typical rotational speeds of the polishing spindle can be anywhere around 2,500 reps per minute. The preparation of the polished material prior to electroplating is important and the first stage is to ensure that all the polishing compounds are removed. This is carried out by dipping the parts in hot soak and electro cleaners. By ensuring that this surface is clean the plated deposit will key to the base material. Often parts that have not met the required standard in the polishing shop will require a heavy coating of copper. This heavy coating of copper then allows the polishers to work on the softer copper metal and the friction and heat flows the copper more easily and can iron out any surface imperfections. Now we will follow a part that has been initially coppered, sent back to the polishing shop for final polishing and returned ready to be cleaned, nickel plated and finally chromium plated. The parts are thoroughly rinsed in clean water to ensure that there is no carryover of cleaners into the next process. The parts are then transferred to the cyanide electro cleaner which passes an electric current through the work. The resultant gassing scrubs the surface to ensure that it is completely clean and active. The parts are again rinsed before being transferred to the cyanide copper for a further flash of copper to ensure that the surface is totally active. Here we can see the parts in the copper cyanide plating solution being plated. The parts are then again rinsed in clean water before being transferred to the bright nickel plating solution. Once in the nickel plating solution, the current is applied and the plating time decided. In this case, about 50 minutes of plating was chosen to ensure good corrosion resistance. After the 50 minutes have passed, the parts are removed from the nickel plating solution and transferred to the rinse to remove all traces of any nickel plating solution. They are then transferred to the chromium plating solution. 
where the current is applied and a plating time of normally around 5 minutes is given. After chromium plating, the current is switched off and the parts removed and rinsed thoroughly to ensure that no chromium plating solution remains. Parts are then air dried, ready for final inspection. So as we said at the beginning of the video, we can go from this to this.